And a very good morning or afternoon, everyone, depending on where you are. Thanks so much for joining us today for our webinar. My name is Sandy Elson, and on behalf of the travel professional community and homebasedtravelagent.com, I want to welcome all of you and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be with us today. We are very excited to welcome back as our host, Fathom Travel. We really appreciate the support we all get from Fathom and thank them for that. Topic today is Fathom's Social Impact Cruises to the Dominican Republic. Our speaker is Michelle Sutter, Director of Trade Sales for Fathom. Michelle started her career in the cruise industry as an international ambassador after graduating university with a degree in Spanish and Latin American studies. A 15-year cruise industry veteran, Michelle has worked across brands like Celebrity Cruises, Royal Caribbean, and most recently, Holland America Line and Seaborn. Michelle joined Fathom as a senior sales leader responsible for increasing market share by working with travel professionals and was promoted to director of trade sales shortly after her arrival. In her spare time, Michelle plays on three soccer teams, works with refugees in her home country of Canada, and is inspired daily by witnessing random acts of kindness. Before we get started, please remember that you are all muted, but we welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of the screen. At the end of Michelle's presentation, we will get to as many questions as we can. So I'm going to take uh, turn the microphone over to Michelle now so she can get started. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's presentation on our social impact cruises to the Dominican Republic. Here at Fathom, we love to talk about what we're grateful for, and I think it's only fitting that I begin this presentation by expressing how grateful Fathom is for the opportunity to speak with all of you today. We truly appreciate your commitment to educating and engaging your clients with the Fathom experience. I am um, excited to share the experience with you on our social impact cruises to the Dominican Republic. Earlier this year, I was fortunate enough to be um, sailing with us in May with my nine-year-old daughter, Ciela, and I'll be sharing some of the experiences I had uh, during our cruise. Before I begin, I'd like to uh, bring your attention to the GoTo control panel. Please ensure you're entering any questions you have in the questions section, as we will allow for time at the conclusion of the presentation to answer any questions you have. And please ensure you stay on for the duration of the webinar, as we have an exciting opportunity that we'd like to share with you about experiencing Fathom firsthand. So what is Fathom? We are going to start off by looking at the definition of the word Fathom and what it means. As a noun, Fathom is used as a nautical uh, term as it relates to, the, to measuring the depth of water. And as a not so nautical term, Fathom is also the average wingspan for an adult worldwide, also six feet. As a verb, Fathom means to understand a difficult problem or person after much thought. So now that we know the technical definition of the word Fathom, let's see how that resonates with our logo. What does the Fathom logo represent? If you take a moment and look at it, what do you think it represents? We've heard many different things from our travelers on the interpretation of our logo. Some say, some say, pardon me, it looks like or reminds them of a manta ray. Some say it looks like an angel and others have said it looks like a person smiling. Although there's no wrong answer at Fathom, we interpret our logo to mean as a person standing with their arms wide open. It's about openness and connection, ready to connect with different cultures and embrace the world's customs. And as we travel deep into the Dominican Republic, we remain open to the greatness of our human potential. So before we start to travel deep into the Dominican Republic, it's important to know that Fathom offers two very distinct cruise experiences. We have our social impact cruises to the Dominican Republic, which I'll be sharing with you today. And we also have our cultural exchange cruises to Cuba. Our impact cruises to the Dominican Republic combine people's love of travel with their desire to make a difference. And our cultural exchange cruises are all about connecting with the people of Cuba. It is our belief that the social impact travel concept creates a new, an entirely new, I should say, category of cruise that provides a community of like-minded travelers. And for our travelers, this provides them with the opportunity to connect with the people on the ground in the Dominican Republic. Sailing after sailing, we are witnessing the beginnings of long-lasting relationships, not only between our travelers, but also with the locals through our impact activities 
on the ground, but also between our travelers themselves as they share their stories amongst each other. And really at Fathom, it's simple. You know, it's about having the ability to turn a trip into an opportunity to transform. It's our vision that will not only transform the lives of the people in the Dominican Republic um, and in the, in the local communities, but will also be making an impact on the travelers and that this will become a transformative travel experience that they can take back to their own communities. And it's important to know that Fathom is committed to changing the lives of families and communities for generations to come and that all of our programs were designed through a lens of long-term sustainability and working alongside the Dominican people and about empowering the locals. So before we dive deep into the IMPACT program, let's talk about how we're going to get to the Dominican Republic. And that's on our beautiful ship, the Adonia. She's a small ship, and because of her size and boutique-esque charm, we commonly refer to her as our jewel box. She was previously sailing with our sister ship P O or our sister uh, brand P O UK, but was actually originally built with Renaissance in the year 2000 as the R8. You would know her sister ships as the ships that currently sail with Azamara and Oceana. She's just over 30,000 tons and accommodates 704 guests. We have all of the modern day amenities that you would expect on a ship. Um, with the exception of no casino on board. The Adonia was refurbished in 2011 and again this past March when we fathomized her prior to inaugural sailing to the Dominican Republic in April. And what does fathomize mean? Well, we added slight touches to the already beautiful decor that we believed would help us create a, com a community of like-minded travelers. And as it relates to the staterooms, we've kept it very simple. What you see is what you get. There are four categories of staterooms, interior, ocean view, balconies, and suites, with over 60% of our inventory in the balcony category. An important note to, 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 um, take, to take to your clients is that we only have eight quad staterooms, and those are all in the interior category. So if you have families who wish to sail in a quad accommodation, please encourage them to book in advance as we have a very limited capacity in this category. Our interior and ocean view staterooms range between 162 to 165 square feet. We have 10 suites that range from 749 to 965 square feet. And including the balcony uh, space, our balconies are in the 200 square feet range. Earlier I mentioned that we fathomized the Adonia just before she sailed under Fathom to the Dominican Republic this past April. And the postcard wall that you see featured on this slide is just one of the slight touches added to the process of fathomizing the Adonia. It allows our travelers to write a quick note to their future selves. Our travelers simply fill out the postcard, one of the postcards that you see on the wall, and then drop, they drop it into the box you see there under the note to future self sign and we take care of delivering it to their home. And as I mentioned earlier, I sailed with my daughter Ciela this past May and it was definitely a pleasant surprise for me upon our return a few weeks later to receive a postcard from Ciela thanking me for the trip and telling me that it was the best week of her life, if you can believe it. Another example of how we fathomize the Adonia would be our Mayfair retail shop. The May Fair shops provide an onboard shopping experience through a selection of brands that we believe are making a positive difference in the world. Um, WeWood, as you see featured here, is one of the brands that we feature, and they create watches actually from the bark of trees. We also have Shinola sunglasses on board, which are created uh, from recycled skateboards. And we have a number of other brands, including Bahalia. Bahalia actually has uh, women's cooperatives that they employ around 28 countries worldwide. And the pieces you see in this slide were created from the women of these countries. So it's all about bringing um, our retail shops um, in line with what we believe at Fathom, which is empowering people. And it's important for us to ensure that there's ethical fashion, uh, fashion for a cost, sustainable development, and transparency. And we consider it an honor to work alongside these global entrepreneurs. During the fathomizing process, we also added a video confessional on board to allow travelers to send videos home 
to their friends and family or to themselves upon their return. We have conversation starters at the tables in the dining room to encourage conversations between travelers. Uh, door cards outside each of the staterooms where travelers can learn more about themselves and curiosity boxes spread out throughout the ship so that they can be on an adventure. As I mentioned earlier, the Adonia has all of the modern day cruise ship amenities including an amazing pool deck uh, featuring a saltwater pool, two jacuzzi tubs, a bar, cafe and plenty of lounge chairs. Our travelers are also very grateful for the complimentary onboard self-serve laundry that they have access to. We also have a gym for those of our travelers, for those of our travelers who want to stay in shape while they're on board. And you see here is our glass house. On deck 10, you will find our wine and tapas bar. And this uh, bar creates the perfect surroundings to unwind after a full day of activities. The glass house offers organic wine and uh, sustainable wine products that are, uh, that are responsibly sourced. And it is actually connected to our specialty restaurant, the Ocean Grill. The Ocean Grill uh, provides our travelers with the opportunity uh, for a special uh, evening experience uh, with our menu that was designed by our award-winning chef, Emil Vega. This is land and sea inspired menu by local Cuban and Dominican dishes. The evening charge is $25 per person and we also have lunch available on select days for $15 per person. And our dining options aren't limited to our specialty restaurant. We also have the Conservatory, which is our buffet restaurant located on the Lido deck. The Conservatory provides a great selection of food from all over the world and is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there's also an outdoor dining section, which is the perfect spot for enjoying, enjoying your morning coffee or the views at sunset. And then we have our Pacific restaurant. This is the main dining room. And the dining room offers tables ranging for tables for two up to tables for 14. Um, the, the Pacific Restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's extremely important for us at Fathom that we offer flexibility to our travelers. Therefore, we do not have assigned sitting or seating times. So it's an open dining time um, during the breakfast, lunch, and dinner period. And travelers are encouraged to dine with and whom, with whom they like and when they like. And on that note, um, I should mention that the dress code is casual. So we have no formal nights on board, and our travelers are encouraged to come on the ship uh, dressed casually and comfortably for their adventures on the ground and on the ship. We also have one of the most beautiful areas on the ship, which is our library. And what makes this library particularly special is that every single book that was um, that, is, that was selected for this library was hand-selected by a Fathom staff member. When we took uh, possession of the Adonia from P&O UK, we actually uh, removed every single uh, selection from the library, and us employees all uh, submitted our recommendations for books that we thought our Fathom travelers would enjoy. And surely it has been a great success. The onboard experience has been designed to complement everything that we're doing on the ground. And our travelers will have plenty of programming choices to choose from, such as orientation workshops, Spanish language classes, dance classes, uh, cocktail classes, and workshops designed to, ha to deepen our travelers' understanding and even personal enrichment workshops. What's important to note is that everyone is um, encouraged to participate in these workshops but again, the programming is flexible, so travelers can do as little or as much as they like. They can participate in a Spanish class to learn the basics about communication and saying hello and how are you and thank you and please. And we also have workshops to deepen our travelers' understanding of themselves and how to storytell so when they, can, when they return to their hometowns, they can share their, their experiences with their friends and family. There will also be social innovation workshops, history classes, and a number of other interesting uh, programs. We also have a full fitness program that is designed uh, for our travelers, as I mentioned, who want to um, stay fit. There's a health and wellness program which includes sunrise yoga, evening meditation classes, spa acupuncture, deck boot camp, and a breaking dawn party. And as I mentioned earlier, um, a cruise to the Dominican Republic would not be complete without a cocktail class. Uh, travelers will have the opportunity to participate in cocktail classes to make mojitos and the original daiquiri. 
as well as our very, very popular wine and paint night. There seems to be something that seems to attract our travelers, uh, inner artists, when it comes to having a few glasses of wine. But what I really want to, to um, leave with you is that all of our, our programming has been designed thoughtfully to provide a more in-depth programming experience that complements uh, the experience on the ground, that is culturally immersive, and that will have our travelers uh, prepared for their journey to the Dominican Republic. So let's talk about that journey to the Dominican Republic. Uh, we depart week, every other week from Miami, Florida on Sundays. And we leave on Sunday afternoon and travel down to Puerto Plata, which is located on the northern coast of the Dominican Republic. We arrive into Puerto Plata on a Tuesday afternoon. So we will be sailing Sunday evening all day Monday and arriving into Puerto Plata on Tuesday afternoon. And again, it's during this time at sea that our guests will have the opportunity to uh, prepare for their social impact projects on the ground. The ship will arrive in Amber Cove on the Tuesday afternoon and stay until Friday afternoon, providing travelers with two full days and two half days in the Dominican Republic before leaving on Friday afternoon back to Miami, Florida. Amber Cove is Carnival Corporation's newest port facility, which opened in October of last year. And it's located on the northern coast of the province of Puerto Plata, which will serve as our home base for the entire time we're in the Dominican Republic. The resort is actually very beautiful and serves as the perfect location for our travelers to relax after a day of exploring, participating in an impact activity, or perhaps just wanting a change of scenery. As you can see here, the resort is nestled below a gorgeous mountain range and edged by a beautiful beach area. And again, this will serve as the home base for our travelers. Our travelers will, of course, sleep on the ship and be able to dine on the ship, but they will have access to all the facilities in Amber Cove during our stay. The pool you see here spreads out across the entire resort with water loungers and plenty of lounge chairs for everyone. There's an amazing restaurant located next to the pool, which offers on Tuesday evenings uh, Dominican entrees, music and dance lessons. We also have a zip line that goes across the pool. You might see the, the cables there in this slide. And we have over the water uh, cabanas, as well as water slides for the kids and adults that are still young at heart. Uh, the over water cabanas, which you see featured here, uh, can be rented for private um, groups, um, large groups, and also just for couples as well. And we also have these uh, cabanas available in the hillside and um, poolside as well. And so, you know, now that we're going to move into talking about our journey on the ground in the Dominican Republic, let's talk about why Fathom chose the Dominican Republic. This is a question we receive often. And the Dominican Republic, for those of you who have been there, will know that it's a country of great beauty. But it's also a country of great need. The average household income is four thousand, or sorry, six thousand dollars U.S., with over forty percent of the population of the population living below the poverty line, and over two million people not having access to clean potable water. However, the good news is the Dominican Republic has it has great infrastructure, which enables us to work alongside partners who have been on the ground for decades. And it's with our partnership with the local leading organizations in sustainable development that we're able to execute a successful social impact program. Before we dive deep into the on-ground programming in the Dominican Republic, it's important to understand that the FATHOM program was created, as I mentioned earlier, by looking through a lens of sustainability with one single goal in mind, and that's to make the impact last and empower the people. FATHOM is, is dedicated to providing long-term, sustainable, scalable impact. There are eight impact activities that travelers can choose from, and they can elect to participate in three, which are included in the price of their cruise. We've designed the FATHOM experience to be flexible for our travelers, and, to, and participation in the impact activities is not mandatory. They can participate in as little or as much as they like. We just ask and sincerely hope that our travelers will come with open minds and hearts and participate in what they do participate in, fully engaged for the impact. The eight impact activities that we offer are centered around supporting three core pillars, and that's the economic development, the environment, and the education in the Dominican Republic. 
we're going to start to look at the economic development impact activities. And these are centered around supporting two women's cooperatives. The first one being the women's cooperative of El Shokal. El Shokal is a women's cooperative uh, whereby the women of this cooperative create and hand make artisanal organic chocolate. We've identified this uh, women's cooperative so that we can work alongside to increase their productivity and long-term income, which will then empower them to employ more local Dominican women. This group of women have created a business whereby they grow the cacao and, as I mentioned, hand make artisanal organic chocolate. So our travelers are essentially coming in as free labor, if you will, extra hands on deck to actually support the, enti the entire production cycle of making chocolate. And yes, they, there are taste tests, and of course, for all those chocolate lovers out here, this is a very popular impact activity. The Traveler's Direct Impact helps this women's cooperative grow and thrive as traveler participation increases both um, sales and production. And as I mentioned, will then allow them to, um, or empower them, to hire more local women. As Shokal grows, that's the name of the cooperative, additional critical, critical income opportunities become available in the region, and the overall well-being of Shokal's own employees increase. What you see here is some of our travelers participating in the production cycle of sorting uh, through the, ch the chocolate nibs. So our travelers will sort through chocolate nibs, sort through cacao beans, and actually participate in molding chocolate and packaging the final pro uh, pro product for sale. Pardon me. As you see here, our travelers also will have the opportunity to mold the chocolate. And what I really should be including here is an image of my daughter in this impact activity because I can assure you very little chocolate was left in this particular mold. So um, yes, the women are prepared for a few taste tests with our younger and um, chocolate lovers. And what I'd like to share here is the direct impact that our travelers have had. Since April, Fathom has sailed to the Dominican Republic on 13 journeys. And in those 13 journeys, we have already packaged over 10,000 chocolate bars. Um, and this is significant uh, for our women's cooperative. And this is um, providing them with an increased revenue stream that they wouldn't otherwise have. So we are very grateful to all of our travelers who have participated in this impact activity. Another group of enterprising Dominican women have formed an association to create and sell arts and crafts from lo locally recycled paper. The women of Repapel that you see featured in this slide um, are a local inspiration, as all of these women previously worked as housemaids, which took them away from their village during the week, and now they've created the successful business that is employing um, themselves and other women, allowing them to support their families and actually live in their hometown. In addition to participating in the entire paper recycling process, our travelers are going to have the opportunity to create new products for sale, and this support provides critical income and will ultimately allow the women to expand their association as their business grows. A Fathom Travelers are featured in this slide going through the paper making process. And it's a very, um, uh, how shall I say, enjoyable activity that is very popular with our travelers because the women have so much energy and warmth and love and joy and are so much fun. They literally sing and dance as they work, and it's, it's infectious. Our, our travelers are commonly known to be dancing and singing with the women of Repapel. And we're really proud to say that after 13 journeys uh, with Fathom, our travelers have produced over 9,000 sheets of recycled paper. Now we're going to move to, to share with you the impact activities that support the pillar of education. In the Dominican Republic, on a national level, um, the children face almost insurmountable obstacles to academic success. One of the skills most in demand by local employers is basic English, since the tourism industry is the number one source of employment. However, there's a shortage of trained English teachers and lack of academic support at home, which make a formalized English learning curriculum difficult to sustain. So our travelers, are going to have the opportunity during the school year to work with both teachers and students on activities designed to create interest and excitement in the learning process and aid in language retention. 
So as you see here and in all of our slides, these are travelers from existing or past journeys um, with Fathom. And these travelers are in the classroom working one-on-one -on -one with these children uh, from the school. They're engaging in games, simple vocabulary lessons, and small group conversations that provide much needed confidence. You do not have to have it. You do not have to have um, a teacher's degree or be a teacher to participate in this impact activity. As you can see here, we have a little girl that's participating in this. My daughter, my nine-year-old daughter, Ciela, participated in this impact activity, and this was her favorite activity. She was able to relate to children her own age in a different country and share what she would took for granted, which is, you know, speaking English with these students. And these students having the opportunity to speak with native English speakers, you know, three days a week, every other week, is a huge, huge benefit to them. And they're so motivated to learn and so keen. We provide a very simple, um, easily um, um, taught curriculum. And we provide this uh, week over week with the travelers. And our travelers have the opportunity to make notes in the notebook to the future travelers about which areas to focus on. The week we were there, we were focused on the days of the week. And Wednesday was a particularly challenging word for the students to pronounce. So we made a note of that in the book so that the next week, when the next travelers came in, they could focus on that as well. As I mentioned, this is one of Ciela's favorite impact activities. And all travelers will see the positive impact of, of, of this activity on the children. At the conclusion of this impact activity, the children have the opportunity through a facilitator and translator to express, you know, how they feel about the impact activity. And it's completely voluntary and it's actually <laughs> beyond heartwarming. I saw many grown men and women, you know, shed tears at this part of the activity as, you know, these nine-year-old children express their gratitude um, to them for sharing their time with them because they were feeling, you know, so much more motivated about school and encouraged that you know their dreams may come true now that they'll have the opportunity to learn English as the tourism industry is the number one source of employment in the Dominican Republic. During the summer months, our students um, obviously aren't in school, so we have um, a pro program designed for our students which nears a, like a summer camp here. And this is centered around creative arts, music, and sports. This well Planned program includes dramatic presentations by students and Fathom travelers, hands-on arts and crafts activities, sports games including actually physically making soccer balls from newspapers, and of course all through native English interactions. So they're interacting with native English speakers, practicing their English, and um, preparing themselves to go into the school year. Then we also have um, our community English conversation and learning impact activity. With the increased demand for bilingual speakers in the growing tourism industry in the Dominican Republic, there's also obviously a great need for programs that support adult English learning. So Fathom Travelers will be able to participate in English conversation and learning activities to help bolster employment opportunities for lower income adults. And these impact activities will take place in community centers and local homes and include one-on-one -on -one conversation and English instruction. Participating in these English conversation and learning programs will enable our travelers to experience the powerful and immediate impact of their contributions, but also allow them to really be immersed in a culture in a way that they, they really wouldn't in any other uh, travel experience. They're sitting, as you see here, in people's homes and connecting with families. My sister-in-law, who traveled uh, with us in May, participated in this impact activity, and this was her favorite impact activity because, you know, she sat there with a family and really had the opportunity to connect. and And Laura just felt at the conclusion of that day just so energized and and really, um, uh, in her words, blessed for the opportunity to to see how others live, but also be able to connect with them. And we're really excited that we've now over the uh, last. 13 journeys provided 25 direct hours of native English interaction. The recommended um, a number of hours for English proficiency by interna international bodies is 240 hours. So we're over 10% of 10% um, of that now. And so this is this is really exciting. And 728 community members and students are benefiting are benefiting from this program with Fathom and our travelers. So now we're going to move into the pillar of the environment. 
The water crisis is a reality that plagues the entire world, but as I mentioned earlier, over 2 million Dominicans do not have access to clean, potable water. In the DR alone, um, this is a huge issue. Being an island surrounded by water, that's surprising to most travelers. But one solution already being implemented is the production and distribution of clay water filters by, wa by an organization, nonprofit organization, called Wine to Water. And this means far fewer children and adults will miss school or work due to water waterborne illnesses. So our travelers will have the opportunity to participate in an impact activity um, established by Wine to Water that will provide them with the opportunity to participate in the entire filter making process. The family you see featured here is the first family that was provided with a ceramic water filter by Fathom. And this, I include this slide because this family is representative of so many other families in the, the Dominican Republic. You see here three generations living under one household. So when we're delivering a, a water filter to a family, this is really impacting three families, if you will. So our travelers are actually going to have the opportunity to, to hand make these ceramic water filters. Then they will actually have the opportunity to deliver a water filter to a family's home. This is a life-changing gift and truly an unforgettable experience, not only for our travelers, but also for the people in the Dominican Republic. Uh, this is a great opportunity. Uh, all, of the, all of the impact activities are designed so children can participate, but this one is particularly fun because there's also the opportunity to work at the potter's wheel as well. And as you see here, this is part of the actual water filter um, clay making process. Uh, where w the travelers you see here are kneading, if you will, the the, the clay, or and and then they'll put it into a mold. Then it will be fired, and the actual water filter that they deliver is a water filter that was created by uh, past Fathom travelers and has gone through the rigorous uh, testing to ensure that it is um, working effectively. And if it's maintained correctly, which we do train all the families on how to maintain and clean these water filters, they will last a lifetime. Again, this is a life-changing gift, and we're so excited that after 13 journeys, we have over 730 water filters that have been hand-delivered to, to the homes of, of people in the Dominican Republic and have directly made a difference for over 3,000 uh, people. We also have our reforestation and nursery impact activity. And this is uh, where we will be involved in local reforestation efforts designed to improve the livelihoods of Dominican families, restore degraded land, and contribute to forest and wildlife conservation throughout the region. Travelers will have the opportunity to participate in activities that range from single, or I should say simple potting of, uh, of single tree seedlings and transporting plants, to assisting local Dominicans with establishing and managing tree nurseries, to um, also cultivation and planting. Thanks to the small group nature of these reforestation activities, you'll gain first-hand experience in transforming a community by working to protect and extend its natural resources. And we're very proud that after 13 journeys, we have already uh, planted over 22,000 uh, seedlings um, in the Dominican Republic. And finally, our last impact activity, which happens to be my personal favorite, is our concrete floors in community homes. This is where our travelers will have the opportunity to help improve the lives and health of the Dominican people from the ground up, literally speaking. The images you see here are images I took during our impact activity. And this impact activity is designed um, for our travelers to participate in of all ages. We will be going into um, a rural area that's actually um, a little village that, um, that's alongside a river. And the, ri the water in the river here um, tends to flood this village very frequently and also during the rainy season. And all of the homes in this village um, have dirt floors, as you see featured in the image on the far left-hand side. That is representative of what the homes look like on the interior. And this results in obviously property damage, um, waterborne illnesses, and also if you can imagine, it also results in um, actually uh, students dropping out of school because time after time their homework gets destroyed um, through the rainy season 
and they just end up giving up hope and not going back to school. So there's a number of different effects of literally having dirt floors. So our travelers are going to come in and alongside some Dominican um, tradesmen are going to lay concrete floors in the home. This is an amazing impact activity because you spend the entire day um, with, or I should say six hours, four to six hours with family, with their neighbors, with their friends, with their family, with the community in building this person's home in making it and giving them that sense of pride that now they'll have concrete floors. They no longer will have to worry about the, their children getting sick or about their, their property getting damaged. And, you know, for those of you who are thinking, okay, how will I participate in that or my clients participate in that? They might be a little older, not as strong. Anyone can participate. My daughter and I participated in this, and there was opportunities for all different ages and physical um, uh, activity levels. For example, I carried in the buckets you see on the far left-hand side that were full of cement um, into the house, whereas Ciela, my nine-year-old daughter, carried the empty buckets out of the house. Um, some of the men uh, did some shoveling. Um, but again, this is an impact activity that everyone can participate in. And you can see the transition of this slide from what it looked like when we came to when we were laying the floors to what it looked like when we were finished. And this, this really is a tremendous gift and an amazing opportunity um, for our travelers to connect with the people in the Dominican Republic. And I'm so excited to say that we now have laid uh, floors in 37 homes, and we actually laid a sports court in one of the schools where we have English learning. So the children will now have a sports court to play on. And this is this is this is affecting directly 165 uh, 165 people in these 37 homes. So we're really proud about that. And you know we would be remiss if we didn't talk about the intangible impact we're having on the people and how this can be a transformative travel experience. I've shared with you the impact numbers about how many um, concrete floors were laid, how many chocolate bars were packaged, how many seedlings were planted, et cetera, et cetera. But you know, what I can't put a number on is the impact this has on each and every single one of our travelers when they're connecting with the people that they're meeting in the Dominican, the, the travelers they're meeting on the ship. You know, everyone wants to be part of something bigger than themselves. People are looking for real connections with people. And, you know, we believe that we're providing a program that builds communities, it fosters connections across borders and cultures, and touches people's hearts in ways they never thought possible when traveling and traveling on a cruise. It's the unexpected experiences that are unforgettable and not the meals people have or the beaches you lay on or the cocktails you have, but the experiences and the people you meet. And, you know, time after time, you know, I feel so fortunate to, to be in this world because time after time, I hear from our travelers, from our trade partners, um, of their personal experiences. And each one is heartwarming. And many times I'm brought to tears when I hear about the experiences they have. I have a travel partner who shared a story, a story with me you know, earlier this month in Houston about a cruise she had been on and she'd taken the taxi into, into Puerto Plata to explore the town. And when she went to pay the taxi driver, the taxi driver wouldn't accept the money. And he said to her, and this is the part that touched me, was that he said, you have spent a week of your time and your vacation to come to help the people of my country. You know, the very least I can do is drive you into town so you can meet some of the people you've touched. And to me, that, that, that says it all there. Right, and, and those are the experiences people are having. The image you see here is my daughter, Ciela, on the right-hand side on the day we were laying concrete floors in that village I, I talked to you about. And the little girl on the left-hand side was um, a neighbor of, of the household that we were um, um, in. And she came in and asked one of the translators to invite Ciela to her home to come and play with her. And what the image that was captured here is the two of them walking away with the dolls that she brought um, towards her mother who's standing in the background waiting for them to go and play. And for me, um, not only as someone who works with Fathom, um, but as a mother and as a traveler, you know, this was, you know, a very, very um, important moment for me because my daughter was having that opportunity to connect, to see how others live, um, without me having to say anything, coming back to me and saying, Mom, I've never thought about the fact that I have floors. 
um, you know, she noticed how the little girl stored all her toys in a garbage bag, right, so that they wouldn't get destroyed. And when she went to go into this little girl's home to play, she, out of habit, removed her shoes to go in. And the little girl told her, no, don't remove your shoes, right? And so, um, and but at the end of the day, all it was about is two little girls connecting and playing. And, and Ciela, to this day, um, remembers that experience and that little girl. And so every traveler we have has a similar type experience. And that's what I believe and what we believe at Fathom makes our travel experience uh, so special. And while we're committed to making a difference, um, there's going to be plenty of time to do everything. The itinerary was designed to allow the travelers enough time to participate in impact activities, but also sightsee, relax on the beach, explore the city, enjoy the nightlife, or simply relax by the pool. So imagine you spend the morning teaching English and coming back in the afternoon and relaxing by the pool, or another afternoon making chocolate and in the morning, you know, hiking the 27 waterfalls. So as I mentioned earlier, and it's really important to know this, is you can do as much or as little as you like, and we've designed this itinerary to support being able to do everything. We also have short, optional shore excursions that are available. Um, such as our uh, countries, uh, countryside zipline adventure, uh, snorkeling by catamaran, and we also have city tours as well. Now I want to go into kind of the frequently asked questions that you have as the trade um, when wanting to promote Fathom. We do offer group pricing and we offer a tour conductor ratio of 1 for 10, so you will receive one tour conductor for every five cabins you sell. We welcome student groups. This is a wonderful opportunity for student groups, fan groups, um, university groups. Uh, the minimum age to sail with Fathom is eight. The minimum age to sail as a student group is 12 years of age, and we require one adult chaperone for every five students. We do have meeting space on board for groups, and all of the programming that we have on board can also be certified for student groups, so we will give um, them certificates for community service hours um, that are um, uh, that are completed while on Fathom. So that includes your impact activities and attending the workshops. So for those student groups that have community service hours that are required through school, they will have certifications that will be provided to them um, at the conclusion of the cruise. What you see here is our journey planner, and this is how our travelers pre-register for their cruise. Along with entering their personal traveler information, this is where they can select their, their actual impact activities that they would like to participate in. They can access the Journey Planner from our website, which is www.fathom.org. Under the About section, you'll find the Journey Planner login. The deposit for a Dominican Republic cruise is $300 per person. And this is fully refundable until final payment is due 90 days prior to sailing. As I mentioned earlier, the minimum age to sail with Fathom is eight years of age, but we do, uh, the minimum age for a student group is 12 years of age. Our pricing for triples and quads is 50% of our pricing for our first and second person rates. Our single supplement policy is 125%, pardon me, 150%, and our sweet single supplement policy is 200%. We also have a guaranteed single traveler share program. Single travelers who are open to sharing, we will um, help them match them up with a other single traveler of the same gender and age range. If we cannot find a roommate for the single travelers, they can occupy the cabin as a single occupant and not pay the single supplement fee. We um, accept bookings from international residents, meaning if you have clients who reside outside of North America, you may book them on Fathom and we will pay you commission on that booking. This is a very common question we receive, and this is about bringing donations. Travelers frequently ask if they can bring donations for the local Dominicans. And while we know our, our travelers' hearts are in the right place, we must ask for your support in communicating to your clients that we discourage donations. The Fathom Impact Model was designed uh, to empower the people through long-term sustainable impacts, and donations create an unsustainable dependency. So what we like to tell our travelers is that the best gifts 
that they can bring is their love and willingness to participate in the impact activities. As I mentioned earlier, the dress code is uh, casual. We uh, do not have beverage packages on board. Passports are required for non-U.S. citizens. U.S. citizens do not have to actually have a passport to sail. It's a, a U.S. closed loop sailing, so you do not have to have a passport unless you decide you're going to stay in the Dominican. Uh, there is access to Wi-Fi. We have daily rates of packages and also weekly rates. We have two upcoming sailings where we have inaugural season promotional pricing available on October the 23rd and November the 20th, which is Thanksgiving, U.S. Thanksgiving sailing. And these prices start at $249 for inside, $349 for outside, and $449 for balconies, plus taxes, which are $208 per person. And we also have a bonus commission offer of $50 per person for first and second, and $25 per person for thirds and fourths. This is an amazing opportunity for travelers to experience the Dominican Republic. We also have travel professional reduced fares on these two sailings. You may travel with a guest um, starting from $199 per person. This is an amazing opportunity for you to experience Fathom and also um, do so during a, a holiday about, thank, about gratitude. I can't think of a better, a better way to celebrate Thanksgiving. So how do you book Fathom? You can book Fathom on Polar Online. If you already have a Polar Online uh, profile and you book any of our sister brands through Polar Online, Fathom is already un listed under the drop-down menu and you can book Fathom under Polar. Or you can call our call center, which is um, located in Seattle. The phone number is one 855 and we're open Monday through Sunday. And you you can also email us at salessupport at fathom.org for any support you need related to sales. We have a small but mighty sales team that is here to support you with development, business development managers uh, based across the U.S. and inside sales representatives to support your efforts. So please connect with us at salessupport at fathom.org. We also have our travel professional portal. This is where you can access our image library. You can order our new brochure. You can access customizable flyers, our travel agent rates, sign up for weekly webinars, a number of amazing uh, sales resources and assets. So please go to fathom.org forward slash travel professional portal to access this information. Now I will be moving into the question and answer period of of the, of the webinar, but I encourage you all to stay on because I have an amazing opportunity that I want to share with you and invite you on so that you can experience the Dominican Republic firsthand. So once I conclude uh, the question and answer period, I will share the details with you regarding this amazing opportunity. So please do not sign off as I'm excited to share this um, invitation with you. So if um, I can turn it over to you now, uh, for questions, I will um, be happy to answer those. Great. Thank you so much, Michelle. This is just an absolutely amazing product and project. Um, very, very compelling presentation. So thank you so much. We do have several questions. You did a great job answering questions in advance. We have a, a few more. And I want to tell our agents on this call that if we don't get to your question or uh, if you think of something afterwards to um, please get in touch with Michelle or with uh, Fathom. And uh, Michelle, do you want to share a uh, contact information for uh, somebody that one of our agents can contact with questions? Absolutely. So the, the email I shared on, on the slide, sales support at fathom.org, that is managed by our sales team. And so we can answer any questions you have related to sales opportunities, group opportunities, or marketing opportunities. Um, if you're looking for just a general question, um, you, can, you can email sales support as well. And again, that's sales support at fathom.org. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, Michelle, what is the smoking policy on board Fathom? We have designated smoking areas um, in the outdoor uh, pool deck area. Are other countries being considered for Fathom type missions? Great question. And, you know, at Fathom, we, it is our goal, you know, in, 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 the, in the perfect world, we'll, we will be in many countries. 
Um, at this point in time, we've just launched the Dominican Republic this past April. So we need to get the Dominican Republic in front of everybody before we can start building a second uh, project. And that's why um, we are so grateful to trade partners like yourselves in helping us spread the word about the Dominican Republic and about Fathom so that we can increase the visibility in front of the clients so that we can increase that demand so that we can create another program in other countries. Fantastic. Are there additional fees for a couple of things that you mentioned, like cocktail classes or wine and paint evening? And one of our agents wants to know if there's a fee to participate in the impact activities. Great question. And I, and I should have been more clear on that during the webinar. So um, our imp in, the, in the cruise, you're, you have three impact activities that are included in the price of your cruise. The water filtration impact activity, and the uh, cement floors water, or sorry, the cement floors impact activity, both have a $20 fee, and this is to pay for the supplies to create the water filters and to lay the concrete floors. So um, you can participate in three impact activities; they are included, but those two have a $20 surcharge. Wine and paint and the cocktail class, which is why I have them in the presentation, do also have the additional. Um, charge all the other activities are included and I believe those are $20 per person as well however I will have to reconfirm that as I don't I'm not 100% positive on the wine and paint and um, cocktail class okay item, but I, I, I can I can email that to you directly great Thank you. Um, we have a couple of questions about uh, groups that were not answered. If an agent can put a school group on Fathom or a church mission group uh, and the group is large enough, do they get their own bus, you know, a separate bus to the impact activities or are, are they? Uh, in, yeah. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Or no, I was going to say, are they integrated into the general uh, passenger uh, transportation? Great question. Um, you know, at Fathom, it's all about flexibility. So if a group wants to be part um, and wants to interact with other travelers on their impact activities, then they'll be integrated into the existing um, activities. If they'd like to travel as a group and they meet the minimum requirement, which depending on the impact activity can range anywhere from like 20 or 15 to like 40 people, um, we absolutely will put a bus together for them. We've done that a number of times for our travelers and um, that's been very successful. Okay, excellent. Um, if there are uh, passengers who don't want to participate in the impact activities, or if one member of a couple does and the other doesn't, are there uh, formal tours or shore excursions during the time the others are at the impact activities? Yes, absolutely. So we do have the optional shore excursions that are available to book. Um, those include catamaran snorkeling, zip lining, uh, city tours. Um, as I showed as well, they can, you know, enjoy the facilities on board and in Amber Cove or explore the city on their own as well. The ship also has a spa. So there are a number of different activities the travelers will want, will be able to participate in. However, I can tell you this, and, and I hear, I hear that question very commonly because usually the, you know, there's one person in, in a couple that's more driven towards this type of a travel experience than the other. And I've sailed on, on the ship with couples like this. And, and you see the transformation on board where that person who was not interested or perhaps not engaged in the program, um, it, it becomes contagious. And they, they end up participating and end up, in, in some cases, being the most engaged participants. I hear stories about that time and time again. But with that being said, we recognize the fact that not everyone may want to or be able to participate and we absolutely support that and as I said we do have programs and facilities um, to keep them entertained if that's the case. Okay excellent. Um, we really just have time for one more question but again agents uh, if we didn't get to your question and we have many of them uh, please do get in touch with sales support uh, at Fathom and uh, they'll be happy to answer your question and point you in the right direction. Michelle, do you have any idea um, how uh, affected the Dominican Republic has been by uh, the Zika virus? We have not had any issues um, with our travelers or uh, traveling to the Dominican Republic, so that has not, not been an issue for us. 
Okay, that's fantastic. And uh, unfortunately, we're almost out of time and we want to um, continue in just a minute uh, with our guest speaker today, Michelle Sutter, Director of Trade Sales for Fathom. Uh, Michelle, this has been fantastic. And um, hold on just one second. 